it's go home day. It's never an easy thing to do. Leave Baxter. At least for me. I always get really sad. But I have my puppy to look forward to when I get home. It's quiet in the campground right now. Nobody's up. I'm gonna check and see. Oh, the ranger's up. Yes, indeed. Let's see if the weather's posted for today. That might be yesterday's. It's still early. Yeah. That's yesterday. You can hear him on the radio. Nice picnic area down here by the water. So if you did have a site not on the lake, you could bring your things down here and you have a covered area where you can cook and have a fire. And there's another one over there. There's also an outhouse or privy nearby. And these are all the canoes you can get for a dollar an hour or eight dollars for the day. Storm's coming today.
about bailing and you know sort of through caution to the wind as it pertains to the weather forecasts and said you know what Friday's supposed to be good so let's give it a shot and we ended up with more than just Friday being good I think we ended up with Wednesday Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, Friday. Yeah. yeah so having one day in the rain at Roaring Brook wasn't so bad we sat and read all day, took a nap, had a really relaxing day. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do a bunch of the exploring that we wanted to take you along for, um, but maybe next year. Instead, we did some exploring up this end that we hadn't done before and a little backpacking. And that ended up being really awesome. I'm still happy with our decision to not stay at Russell Pond again last night and yes. come back to South Branch. It's not raining yet, but it's going to. So. Yeah, I think we would have just been frantically trying to get that 10 miles done to get here to our car before the rain came. And might have made it and might not have. So, But this way, we can pick up our puppy um, today, which we are very much looking forward to. some of this stuff unloaded and cleaned and all of that stuff you do when you get home from camping. <laughs> Everything's just got a, coat of, a coating of slime and grunge, <laughs> including ourselves. Yes. <laughs> so thank you for joining us on our Baxter trip. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you'll come along for any other adventures that we take. special place when you drive down the road and there are no power lines. <laughs> At least I think so. breakfast at Debbie's uh, Deli and the food was really good. We had eggs and omelets and pancakes and there is a shop and save, yeah, the small store. a very small grocery store in Patton well. and a little hardware store. So, And there's also a brewery, Katahdin Brew Works um, in town. Okay. So, Friday and Saturday. So there you have it. 
It's a cute little downtown. Not a heck of a lot going on, but you can get food. You can get um, supplies, groceries for heading into Baxter. I wouldn't expect a ton of variety. It's a really small store. Oh, and there's a Dollar General also. But you can definitely get some stuff. And 